ha, one day we started with dynamic concepts. That's www.dcathlete.com. And today we're going to go over an incredible home workout that will quickly transform your body. This is great for people who are into um, combat sports or those who are trying to get in shape. So if you're involved in boxing, kickboxing, uh, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, karate, this is great to get your wind up and your strength up uh, without adding too much necessary bulk. If you're just trying to lose weight or just get in shape, this is also incredible for you. No matter how you slice it, this is great for you, your life, and your body. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three circuits consisting of four exercises each, making a total of 12 exercises. We'll do each exercise for 30 seconds each, but if that's too modest for you, you can simply change it to 45 seconds or you can minute per exercise. What we're going to start with is 30 seconds per exercise with a one minute break after the first circuit, 30 seconds again for the four exercises with a one minute break after the second circuit, and then 30 seconds each exercise for the last circuit per exercise, and then a one minute break, and we go back to the very first circuit again. Now I want you to try to get through all three circuits twice, and that will count as one full round. Okay? If that's too difficult, if you're really just starting at the very, 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 very bottom, then all I want you to do is try to get through one time at 30 seconds each for each exercise, for all 12 exercises. Remember, every four exercises, you get a nice little break. And you can change this by simply adding more energy into it, more enthusiasm, by changing the weight or even how you position your body. I'm going to give you a couple different variations to play with. When you start simply on the ball, this kind of gets worked out. So here we are on the ball. We're going to start with some toe touches. All we're going to do is we're going to relax, stretch your back, arms with a nice limp right here. That back is nice and loose. You can see it for a minute or two. If you're comfortable and you feel the balance, you're going to start with your hips. Up here on the ball, those are your hips too low down here. What we're going to do is we're going to go for what's called a toe touch. I'm going to push off my heels and start crunching at the same time. And I'm going to grab my toes and stretch it out. So I'm going to go back. Drive off my heels, come up. We should do this motion for 30 seconds. That's just a commercial way. Boom. Just up and down. Simple as that. You need to stop watch. You need to frame. You need to timer, a little bit of timer. So the 30 seconds here. After that, we're going to bring it out. We're going to do a bridge. We're going to have our shoulders and our neck on the ball. We don't want to be here. Get off the ball as much as possible so you're just using your neck and shoulders. From here, put my hands out of here if I need support or across my chest and just from a bridge. But it's really easy to hold on to the ball. And just from a bridge up and down. Keep my shoulders apart. You can get a wider if you like. Get more of a hamstring. Maybe you more intense or more of your balance. You can keep all the way together. That's a difficult one. Fingers so I want a full range of motion for 30 seconds. So that's it. After that, we're going to go into a dumbbell lunge curl press. So all we're going to do, make sure you have a comfortable weight. You don't want to start too strenuous for this first circuit. All we're going to do, we're going to do a step, curl, press, and then back up. So the step and curl, pressing at the bottom. So again, step. Rest. Great for the core, great for your coordination. If you can even get all the way up before your knee touches the ground. 30 seconds, nice giant steps. We'll step out nice and deep. Good. We're going to finish that off with the scissor jack. We start with my right leg forward. Left arm extended, I'm going to switch. For 30 seconds. Stay on my toes, work through those calves, stretching out those arms, and getting that heart rate up. Good. Now we get our break. You need a one minute break, you're going to need more to go more time for after you that one minute break. Next, I'm going to go with a uh, dumbbell with a job. Dumbbell or the stability ball, I'm going to show both variations. What you're going to do is you're going to wait up here. 
But on your head at one time you five, you can make a line 45 degrees across. The heels want to be up, arms are going to extend, come across, and back up. And you're chopping the wood. So 15 seconds on each side. Both of you are doing a full minute, 30 on each side. You have 45. Well, 22 seconds on each side. So we go over here, heels on the up, and we come down. Down. Notice as it comes down, pivoting in the hips, creates hip flexibility. Golfers or martial artists, you need to hit baseball players, all the hip flexibility. Turn that over, bring it back up. Turn it over, bring it back up. It's also great core work, working the abs, the lower back, and then glutes at the same time. Too strenuous, you can still get a great workout just using the ball. The exact same motion, you just want to come here. Heels up, rotate, and rotate. So making that X from the opposite side, same thing, rotate. Make sure I'm getting this leg, moving that heel, and back up. I go with that. Alright? Next thing we're going to go with is a lateral lunge and chop. So the dumbbell first, is also a 30 second one. The dumbbell above our head, feet are going to stand right together. I'm going to lunge off to the side, and I'm going to chop. And off to the side, and I'm going to chop. Off to the side, chop. So back in that abs. I'm going to go back already. Get nice and deep. Giant step. Stretch it out. Come back up. Giant step off to this side. Come back up. Like so. Now, we'll make it. That's too intense. Don't have your dumbbells. Same with the original lunge roll and press on dumbbells. Just do the, do the motion itself. If you're, if you're not a deconditioned athlete, as we call it. Deconditioned athlete. We're going to start up here. Heel up. Oh, sorry. Not exercise. We start here. We've got lunge. Chop it. Back to the other side. Lunge. I'm going to chop it. I'm going to touch the ground. Back off to either side. If you don't even have this, you don't have a ball, you can actually do this with a phone book. So a nice heavy phone book, but you can probably not use it if you got the Google <laughs> and uh, internet white pages and yellow pages. Use a phone book if you don't have a weight. Use a can of soup. Or also, for some people, I don't have any dumbbells, Dave, what do I do? Give yourself a ball, get a ball from Walmart, Target, 10 or 15 bucks. Get yourself two cups, two cans of soup, and use those as your weights to start off with. There's always a way. There's a will, there's a way. All right, the next one we're going to go up over is called the walkout. For the walkout, stay my arms above my head, nice and wide. I'm going to do a wide base. I'm going to squat, bring my hands down, walk out, go into a push up if you can. Push yourself right back into that squat position, hands back up to the sky. Do a nice squat. Push up, drag right back to that squat, hands back up. Go oh, instead of a wide squat or a prisoner squat, so it's got your hands to get the stick up squat. So your hands are up here. I'm going to drop down, lower, walk down to my push up, come all the way. Sorry. Bring it back, back, and up. So we go this direction this time. So here, arms up nice and wide, we squat down, bring my arms down. Walk out, push up, right back to that squat. I'm starting. 30 seconds right here. If you can't do a push up, don't worry about it. Don't worry about going out and getting that squat. So if you can't do a push up, you're exhausted, or you do movement. Just worry about that squat and that shoulder activity. Go to bottom coordination, and a lot of stabilizing strength in your shoulders, especially these guys that do heavy bench. If you can't do a push-up, you need to do a stabilization in the shoulder and rotate the cup. Awesome. After the walkout, you can go right to a pretzel jack. Pretzel jack, different from the jumping jack, so the arms nice and wide, feet wide, and like wrist rolls. Arms take one on top of the other. The final for 30 seconds. Excellent. 
that completes circuit number two.